What I'm going to talk about now is learning outcomes, which are the bane of some people's lives, but they are actually the building blocks for effective curriculum design. And lots of people talk about smart learning outcomes, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time constrained. But I think that's a bit boring. So I came up with my own, which is based on an acrostic that actually symbolises the lifeblood of learning. That is vascular. And vascular learning outcomes are, first of all, the verifiable. That is to say, we actually know that they've been done. The tutor can tell they've been done. The person who's submitting the work knows that they've done it. So verifiable. Next one, A, action orientated. Action orientated means that whatever's in the learning outcomes has got a verb associated with it, a doing word, which shows that by the end of the program, what the student needs to be able to do demonstrate or argue or articulate whatever it happens to be. So vascular, V, A, S, singular. The problem with many learning outcomes, particularly on old courses that have been modified many times, is they're trying to jam too many things into one learning outcome. So a singular learning outcome is ideal because it means that we can actually check it's been done. C, constructively designed. This is worth building on the work of John Biggs. Constructively aligned means that from the outset, the people designing the curriculum are looking at what is to be learned by the students, what the outputs are likely to be like, and how they will link together with the assessment and the final output. So constructively aligned, C, U, We need to make sure that the language in which learning outcomes is written is actually understandable. It's using codes of language that both the students and those doing the teaching understand what they mean, and so do the other agencies involved, like employers or external examiners. So, vascular, V-A-S-C-U, and then we come to L, level appropriate. Sometimes we look at programs and we see that the learning outcomes at the first level of learning, the first year, are very similar in terms of what's expected to the second year and the final year and even sometimes frighteningly master's level. So we're looking for learning outcomes that are level appropriate. Vascular, L. A, effective domain inclusive. For me, it's worrying sometimes that people forget that there's a real person in there doing the studying. Effective domain means we're thinking about not only what the student can do and what they know, but we're also looking at who they are and what they've become and how the learning programme that they've been through has changed them in terms not only of their capabilities, but in terms of their actual essence in the effective domain. And the last one within my vascular is regularly reviewed. When I look at programmes going around different universities, you can see the ones where it just become the same year after year and nobody has bothered to refresh them. The best thing a course team can do is to take away their learning outcomes at least once a year, I would argue, and say, are they fit for purpose? Are they doing the job? And are they doing what we need for those students? By this way, if we make sure that the learning outcomes within curriculum design are vascular, we can actually make them work in the favour of the students, for those of us who teach, and for the university as a whole.